Hello and welcome to my reading journal setup for 2023. I am very excited to be filming this video. It has taken me a very long time to assemble this 2023 setup. And I thought about filming the process, but it took way too long. It was several days and it doesn't look that great. Like you won't think, oh, this is worth several days of work, but it is what it is. So let's get started. First of all, I do want to mention that I'm losing, I'm using last year's journal. I didn't change my reading journal. I still had a few pages left. It probably won't be enough for the rest of the year, but I just didn't feel like buying a new journal when I still have this one. So if we come here, we have my 2023 reading journal. Here I have my title page. It simply says reading journal. I recently got myself these as a little Christmas present. I bought them in a store called Flying Tiger. I think it's a Danish store that we have here in Portugal now. And they're just, I have already dirty this one's up, but these are just stamps that I have. I had already had some stamps that I bought before, but I've never had the alphabet ones and they've always looked really good in other reading journals. So I made use of them this year and I'm very happy about that. So I just wrote here reading a journal on some brown paper and then everything that I have, I just took from Pinterest. I can leave my Pinterest down below if you're interested. I'm, I'm only on there for journaling stuff. So I don't have any followers, I don't follow anyone. It's just for my journaling things. But if you want to see every single post that I got, it'll be on there. And I have this flower craft paper that I got from, I think it was an agenda of last year or two years ago and I no longer use it. So I thought that I would just rip some flower paper for it. And I think it looks really cute. So this is just my simple title page. I didn't do a whole lot, but I'm very happy with it. And here we have the classic reading journal bookshelf. I have more on the other page, but I literally just did the most basic bookshelves that I could draw on my own. Um, these are also from Pinterest. I thought that I would put this cute little library here in the middle. I have no idea where this is from. I found it on Pinterest, but I don't know the reference for it. But it just looked really cute and I just put some flower stickers and some nature things, a butterfly, just all very normal stuff. Then we have the rest of my bookshelf because this year my reading goal is 100 books. I got to almost 80 in 2022 and that was a big deal for me because I've never been past like 40 something. So I've read a lot last year and I'm just, I was excited to challenge myself a little bit and to make my reading goal a beautiful and round 100. All of this are also things that I got from Pinterest. I had these stickers. I have no idea where I got them. It was many years ago, but they have this kind of like stamp, different country stamps on them that I really like. More of this flower craft paper. I didn't really, I don't really like this. I don't know why I did this, but I'm no longer going to change it. And then here we have my physical TBR. This is a very simple page. I just wanted to be able to put some numbers on there. As you can see right now, there are some books that I still have that I'm no longer interested in reading. So here I only have the books that I own that I'm very interested in reading. And I currently have 16. Technically, The Final Empire is a trilogy, but I'm not going to count every single book. And I am hoping that... I will fill this up this year. I didn't put any more space for it, but I don't usually buy that many books, so it's not really a problem for me. But this is just a very simple spread for me to keep track of my physical TBR because I'm really hoping that I'll make some progress with it this year. Next, we have my YouTube stats here. I kind of let my channel flop a little bit in December, but I'm hoping to get back into it now this in the earlier in the year. And I thought that I would do a page for my subscriber count, watch hour count, just to see the progress that I'm making throughout the year. Hopefully it will be good progress. And here we have my year in overview. This is something that I do every single year. 
here you have, where is it? Here you have last year's, and I just love to do this. I just do the amount of physical, audio, and ebooks that I read, and then I just put the total in brackets here, and I just can see which book I read the most, uh, what type of book I read the most that, that month. And I thought that I would do this again. I changed the color, but I really love this format. Very simple, just some washi tape. I no longer remember when I got this. It was one of the first washi tapes I ever got. And I'm pretty sure it was when I was living abroad. So I really don't know where I got this. And I'm sorry about that. Next, we have also this table that I do every year. Here you have an example of what it looks like filled in. Here, I just put the title, the month that I read, and the reading. This is just a cute little overview of all the books that I read in the year. It's easy to look at. I Last year, I was very, very generous with mine. I put until 114. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, here you can see that I only filled it up until the 78, which is what I said. I almost read 80 books last year, but this is just a cute way of keeping track of the books that I read and a good way of looking at it. So I did this, this, and I put until 95. Now, as I mentioned, my reading goal is 100. So where will I fit those five books if I do read them? I'm not sure, but we'll, when we get there, we'll figure it out. Next, last month, last month, last year, I DNF'd a lot of books and I like DNFing. Okay, I don't like DNFing, but I like to DNF when I'm not liking a book. And I wanted to keep track of every single book that I DNF'd because sometimes I don't really want to count them towards my Goodreads goal. And last year I did not keep track of it. And this year I really, really wanted to. So this is a new spread that I came up with. It looks very basic. It looks very simple. This is just a did not finish. I also got this. It's not a sticker. Um, it's just normal paper that I printed out. And it is from Pinterest, this border. And I just put kind of like this. I'm hoping that I won't DNF more than 26 books because it just felt like a lot to fill out an entire page. But I'm just going to fill this in, the amount of books I do DNF. And here I'm hoping to write down the titles, but I'm still not sure how because I didn't want to do another table. So I'm still figuring out what I'm going to write here. So I've just left this kind of empty, but yeah, this I'm just going to fill in the number of books I had enough and here the title and the progress. So until which percentage I got to or which page. Then we have like a lot of other people are doing, we have the world map challenge. Uh, I've seen this around, but I specifically saw this one from Plant Based Bride, which is one of the most amazing journaling channels out there. It's one of my favorite ones for sure. Elizabeth is incredible at journaling and she put a, a link in her description for free world maps. Literally, this is the website. I can also put it in my description and she printed this one. This is usually like a cream colored, but I didn't mind filling it in in black and white. And each time that I read a book from a certain country, I'm going to color in that country. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to read a book from every single country. I think that's a little bit ambitious on my part, but I want to, I read a, very diversely in terms of countries and I want to see the progress and the different books from each country that I do read. So this is something that's new. I didn't do this last year and I'm very excited to keep track of this as well. And here we have my 12 page books to read in 2023. A lot of people are doing the 23 books in 2023, but that's simply not attainable for me. I just know that if I have 23 books to read, I will not get to a single one. So I compromised and I did 12 books. So kind of like one for each month. And I also hate this. I don't know why I did this, but I don't want to do it again. So I'll just leave it in. And this is a tiny little envelope that I got at a stationery shop around here. And I just filled this in with some brown paper so it fit a little sticker from Frank, like it's not a sticker, but I printed out a picture of Frankenstein from Pinterest as well. 
And here inside my little envelope, I put in my list of the 12 books that I do want to read. A lot of people do pictures and I really love that as well. But I just, I've never done that before and maybe I'll do it next year or something. But this year I didn't do it yet. So here we have the list of the 12 books that I want to read in 2023. This is a much more attainable list for me. We have a nice mix of owned books books that I want to read but I don't own yet and just a good way of keeping track of the titles that I want to get to this year. And that's kind of it for my 2023 setup. Here I am going to start my January spread which I am going to film and include in this video. Okay, and now let's get started with my January spreads.
Okay, so I've had a lot of trouble with my January spreads. My glue is coming apart. My glue tape is also coming apart and everything is falling apart, but I finished. So let's take a final look into the first spreads of my 2023 reading journal. As we've already seen all of this, Okay, for my January spread, I decided to do a title page, a little calendar with a video planner, which I am going to write my video ideas in. A little TBR. I'm not filming a TBR video this month, I don't think, so I'm just going to put some of the books that I want to read. Then books read, where I put my reading, what I thought of them on these two and this page. And then I have movies. I was supposed to write movies, but I only wrote movie because I didn't have any more space. And I've already seen Parasite this year, which was really good. I haven't, I hadn't seen it yet, and now I have, and it was pretty freaking good. So, and then I just have my habit tracker and my like subscriber count and Instagram stats. I'm trying to do five thousand steps every single day, and I'm also trying to read every single day of the month. So we'll see how that goes. I hope that you enjoyed this reading journal setup and January plan with me. Um, I hope that this is a great year for my reading journal. I am not going to do a 2022 look into my journal because I, I really think that it looks kind of ugly. But if anyone wants me to, I might do it. But it, it looks kind of ratchet. But here's to hoping that 2023 is a great journaling year. And I hope that it lasts me for the whole year. But if it doesn't, I'll buy a new one and we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching.